gems. Hope you guys are doing good. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from September 12th to the 21st. So guys, <laughs> hey, new well, first of all, hi hey, newbies. Hey, oldies. Welcome back. And for those who are new, uh, thank you for checking me out. Keep in mind, I always go over my meditative session first, and then I go ahead and dive into the reading. So Geminis, I'm going to do something a little unconventional. And it's Gemini. Why not? Um, I used to do a pre-shuffle session. So a lot of you have been with me for a while know this. Um, for those who are new, now you know. I used to do a pre-shuffle pre session. I used to keep the cards out. So my method is I meditate first. I get the I get the cards ready. When I get the cards ready, some cards come out. That's what I consider to be a pre-shuffle. And then I go ahead and, you know, get, get going with the reading and hit record. Geminis, for whatever reason, I'm feeling compelled to do the pre-shuffle with you on camera, okay? And I already got started. <laughs> I already got started and look what came out. Gemini in true Gemini fashion. So when I was meditating on your energy, I actually saw a werewolf or what would be depicted as a werewolf. And I just started to laugh. Okay. <laughs> because here's why with what it instantly, I just, it was just a reminder of the full moon to me, the full moon in Pisces. It's like, some people are very sensitive to moon cycles. You know, some people are, some people aren't. Um, it also depends on what's in your chart and what sign the the moon is moving through along with other aspects that are happening at that same time. And it's funny, Gemini, because there's nothing happening in your sign, but all your mutable cousins essentially are getting hit hard. And Gemini, I think you're feeling that. I think you're definitely feeling that as a result here because the full moon is in Pisces. Oh, we have Neptune retrograding in Pisces uh, and those are con conjunct together. We have, uh, we've got a lot of Virgo energy going on still. We have Mars in Virgo, Sun in Virgo, which are also conjunct. And then we have Mercury and Venus moving into, oh no, that's Cardinal. That's Libra. That's Cardinal. We have Jupiter and Sag, Jupiter and Sag. So that's a lot of mutable energy. Okay. That's a lot of mutable energy. Uh, and Gemini's, I think you're just really feeling it. Okay. I think you're feeling the effects of all these transits going on right now. Again, it really depends on what's going on in your chart. And I'm going to go into that in the live tonight. I'm actually going to, because my chart's personally affected very much by the aspects that are going on right now. So I'm just going to kind of show you guys how to generally check your charts to see how you're going to be affected. Just like, you know, as a little like how to, okay. So just keep that in mind. But I saw a werewolf and it's like Gemini's, whew, it's a lot of dark energy. It's a lot of dark energy. You're having to really be in your shadow side or face your shadow side right now, which is not a bad thing. And I really want to hit that home with you guys. That's not a bad thing. It might make you feel angry. It might make you feel sad, crazy, triggered, whatever, but it's not a bad thing. And Gemini's, I did get the sense that your twins are very much split right now. And when I had that feeling and I started prepping the cards, look what came out. That is like completely separate energies you were your twins are not aligned gemini for whoever's going to resonate with this your twins are not aligned i'm sorry they're not we have king of wands in reverse which is leo energy could also be fire or air with the king of cups scorpionic energy even though both fix are fixed signs they're like they're very different fixed signs the fixed signs are scorpio aquarius uh taurus and leo scorpio and tauruses are their complements so are, are aquas and leos but i feel like scorps and aquas can pretty much jive well together uh tauruses and leos can pretty much jive well together tauruses and aquas i would say not so much but scorpios and leos because scorpio has that mars fire influence when you put that with a leo energy stand back <laughs> stand back okay that's that's what i'm gonna say about that just stand the fuck back um but anyway these are your twins right now gemini half of you is so in love and wanting to commit and loving that idea of being in love and the other half of you is like i want to go party i want to go be single i want to go be a bachelor bachelorette i want to go play the field I'm over love. I'm over love. You're going back and forth on this, Gemini. You're going back and forth. And for some of you, I feel like you've been triggered into this. Yeah, I like they keep showing me someone literally cut in half, which is a little disturbing. I don't really need to see that. Um, sometimes the messages they give me, it's like, oh, you could have said that to be a different way. But anyway, yeah, your, to your twins are totally split right now. Half of you really wants a commitment. The other half of you really wants to be single and you really can't decide. At the same time, you're a freaking werewolf <laughs> facing your shadow side, facing your, your some of your inner wounds here because you're feeling that pressure. You're feeling that pressure of all of these mutable energies. Again, your cousins, right? So Gemini's, especially if you're a Gemini moon or rising, sun, Jupiter, You're really gonna feel it. You're really gonna feel it. Specifically if you're in the mid degrees, like um like 
essentially 10 to 20, but it's like, it's more in the like tail end. So like more like 15 to 20, 14 to 20 degrees, you're really going to feel this. Okay. And it's again, it's not a bad thing. And if anything, it's going to help you align these two twins of yours. And I know sometimes Gemini's, you guys don't like it when people talk about the twins. It just is what it is. You're twins. Sorry. It just is what it is. I get it. I know. I get it. But if you want your twins to be aligned, so you can actually decide on what you want, keep in mind decisions are going to be hard right now, but I'm going to talk about that in the full moon video. <sighs> you got to go there and it's okay to go there. And if you're feeling triggered by shit, just let yourself be triggered so you can figure out why you're triggered. So you can finally get these two parts of yourself aligned of, I want to love someone. I want to be their one and only. I want them to be my one and only, but fuck, I want to play the field because love has really screwed me over. Okay, some of you, I feel like these triggers are coming up because of dating experiences, but let's go ahead and continue with the pre-shuffle and any other um, messages I get intuitively, okay? <sighs> Gemini, regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Please love messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, regarding love, September 12th to the 21st, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, Gemini. Oh, Gemini, oh, Gemini, oh, Gemini. Ace of Swords in reverse and Three of Pentacles in reverse. For, oh, Jesus. Oh, Six, I'm sorry. Six of Pentacles in reverse. That's funny. I was feeling Three of Pentacles, and with the Three of Pentacles energy, I was feeling like you're not feeling stable yourself. But Six of Pentacles in reverse is feeling like something was really unfair. I'm actually hearing injustice. Very in... Ooh. Geminis, I think someone lied to you. <sighs> Gemini, some of you were lied to, like straight up lied to. Oh man, I'm feeling your anger. You're pissed. You're given death stare. You're given death stare. If this person's in front of you, you're given the fucking death stare. And it's making you even more split. I feel like this is someone you really care about. I feel like this is someone you have a lot of love and emotion for. But whatever, I really feel strongly you were lied to, man. I really feel strongly you were lied to and it's triggered you. It's also made you feel very ungrounded and it's splitting your twins even more, specifically when it comes to this person. Like, what the fuck i loved you sorry sorry i'm like I'm just feeling your energy you guys are very triggered right now i'm feeling it you're very very triggered right now uh let's see what else we can get here still lining the deck i'm seeing board games oh some of you guys like to play risk oh that's cool i like risk oh gemini's oh shit that's why they should be risk <laughs> that's why they should be risk uh don't go to war with this person don't do it. Just don't do it. Please just don't do it. Gemini, some of you are tempted because you're just that triggered and because you are a little bit of a werewolf right now and in your, your shadow side. You, again, you need to embrace your shadow side so you can basically devour it. Okay? I'm talking in scorpionic terms. I can't help it. I'm a Scorpio, okay? But <laughs> this is really going to help you with this, okay? Gemini's, embrace your shadow side so you can just devour it, okay? Fully embrace it to the point where you can basically eat away at the things that don't serve you in your shadow side. We all need our shadow side. No matter how, how enlightened or ascended we are, we always need our shadow side. It's there for a reason. It's that balance of light and dark, okay? It's when you're balanced in both of those energies as opposed to just choosing one over the other, which again, sometimes we have to do for healing, which is what you're doing right now. Um, it's about being balanced and being one with yourself, okay? There's no such thing as bad or good. It's just It just is, right? But when we go into our shadow side and embrace our shadow side, we get a chance to really eat away at any of our wounds, our karma, which is a big thing for a lot of people right now. But Gemini is because all of your, your cousin signs are aspected right now for all of this karmic energy we're dealing with. You're really feeling that, okay? And Gemini is, keep in mind, we also have Libra energies going on, your sister sign, which is a sign of balance. It's practically your, your redheaded step. No, okay, no. Oh, sorry. I, I just felt some Libras get triggered. I just felt some Libras get triggered before I even finished that statement. I take it back, Libras. I take it back. I take it back. You're just really, really close siblings. I'll put it that way. Um, and I think you're also feeling that need to maintain balance, but because you're in a shadowy element of yourself, it's like, it's almost impossible to feel that, which is why you have to just embrace your shadow side, devour whatever you need to devour, and then get realigned with yourself. But I can feel it. Some of you guys want to go to war with this person, whoever lied to you. I feel really strongly that you were lied to here. Okay. Please bring forth messages of healing, truth, and love for those who need it. For Geminis. And there's the moon. Piscean energy, also Gemini. 
I mean, a Gemini, sorry, Cancer. That's what I said, Gemini. Cancer, it's Cancer energy. You could be a Gem Cancer cusper. Uh, but again, this is just alluding to the full moon energies that are really gonna be impacting you right now. It's also about secrets. The fuck? Gemini, by the way, Hermit on the bottom, seeking enlightenment, Virgo energy. So that's all I'm gonna do for the pre-shuffle, guys. I feel like the deck is pretty aligned, but you're basically finding out someone lied to you. You're finding out some secrets. That's also really key right now for these energies. A lot of secrets are coming out, guys. A lot. Secrets and things we've hid from ourselves and, of course, the other people have hid from us. And I gotta be honest, because I just finished going over all the aspects I want to talk about tonight. Um, I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's gonna be a really awesome time for manifestation, dreaming big, but it's gonna be kind of a really rough time with love. I'm just being honest with you. I'm just being honest with you, okay? Because of all that Piscean energy and Libra energy at work as well. So let's go ahead. Now that we've gone over the meditative session, the little things I picked up for you and the pre-shuffle, let's go ahead and dive into the reading, okay? Um, so keep in mind, guys, these are very general readings. They will not resonate with for everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind. As you already heard the way I set the intention, that is how I set the intention before I hit record, okay? So just know if it's not your message, it's just not your message. We are working with energy, so just know that messages can be reversed or vice versa. And don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Like you saw, it was the kings out here. You could still be a female. It's just alluding to that polar difference in energy, Right. And the fact that and it's actually interesting, the fact that they came up as both fixed signs, Scorpio and Leo, it tells me that you are in a little bit of a state, Gemini, where you are getting very fixated. OK, and Gemini is sometimes you do that, but you bounce it. It's like a it's like an ADD fixation. Like you get really caught up in a topic or a person and then you kind of I don't want to say burn through that, but you learn as much as you can. You dive into as much as you can, then you move on, then you move on, then you move on, then you move on. You constantly need that stimulation. But the fact that you have the Scorpio and Leo energies that you're harnessing, again, whether you're male or female, tells me that you're actually fixating. And I got to be honest, it feels very Scorpionic, especially with that war energy I was getting with risk. You might actually be in the midst of feeling like someone's playing a game with you, and that's not a fun place to be. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and see what we get here from my Gemini's, okay? Show me that word again. <laughs> ah. Any messages for my Gemini's? Oh, Gemini's, I can feel it. You want to confront someone bad. Any messages for my Gemini's? Why are they saying fairies? I'm not one who studies fairies or fairy magic or anything of the sort. It's just not something that resonates with me. But they're, they're, they just said fairies, fairies, fairies. And now it just reminds me of Midsummer's Night Dream. Midsummer's, Midsummer's Night's Dream. <laughs> I'm tired. I had a coffee today. Thank God for concealer. Um, and it's funny. I guess fairies would be very Gemini-like. It's like very kind of playful, mischievous, maybe even a little trickstery, but just for the fun of it, not for not to hurt anyone's feelings, uh, but for the fun and play of it. Gemini's. I almost feel like you feel messed with in a way that a Gemini would mess up with someone. So you could be dealing with another Gemini, not necessarily, but that's kind of kind of energy that I'm feeling. Like you feel like someone kind of played you, but played you. God, I hate to say played you in a way you would play someone. And again, no shade or anything, but that's kind of how it's feeling. That's kind of how it's feeling, and you don't like it. You really don't like it. Any messages for my Geminis? Any messages for my Geminis regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Okay, now I'm seeing daisies. I know there's a spiritual meaning behind that. I don't know it. In, I don't know it immediately. Daisies, daisies, daisies. Intuit. Okay, let me spin it intuitively. What they're trying to tell me with that. Child. Some of you could. Some of you could have a child with this person unnecessarily. I feel like it's alluding more to that childlike Gemini and energy here. Again, you feel. It's almost like you're dealing with another Gemini. Again, you don't have to be, but you really feel like another Gemini played you at your own game. And again, not that you were messing with someone or playing a mind game with anyone, uh, but you guys are very playful. And so maybe someone just took it too far. But you you do feel lied though, lied to though. You feel like flat out lied to. Any messages for Geminis regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Okay. Any messages for Geminis regarding love? September 12th to the 21st. Let's 
see here. Oh, wow. Okay. Chariot, Cancerian energy. And then we have Judgment in Reverse, Fire energy, also Scorpionic energy for me as a reader because it is Pluto. And then Eight of Swords in Reverse, more Gemini energy. More Gemini energy. Gemini energy. We haven't had a Gemini card yet. This is interesting stuff. This is you trying to release yourself. I feel like you trying to release yourself from a bad karmic situation or a, a mistake. I feel like you're leaving angry. Gemini's, I really feel like that. Like you're leaving angry or someone left you and you're feeling angry. That's how this feels. I, I definitely feel movement. This could be travel or an actual move. Someone did, someone's out. Gemini, someone's out, whether it's you or this other person. But if it's you're the one, if, if you're doing the leaving Gemini, you're leaving angry because you feel like there's karmic injustice here or you felt like there was a big fat mistake that this person did and you just can't tolerate it. And so you're like, I'm out. If this person's leaving you, you're feeling pissed. You're feeling really pissed. Um, whoever left though, they felt like they were releasing themselves from a situation, okay? Let's see what else we got here. Wow. Any messages for Gemini? Got a lot of Leo energy all of a sudden. Any other messages for Gemini regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Any other messages for Gemini regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Let's see here. Got three other cards out here. Jesus, Gemini. <laughs> Give me all the Virgo, Leo, Cusper, but not necessarily. We have the Sun, Leo energy, Strength, Leo energy, both Leo major arcanas. That's pretty intense. And then we have Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, could also be Earth or Fire. If you're a Gemini rising, where's your Leo? Second would be Cancer. Your third house. Oh, oh, that's, wait a minute. That's interesting. Because that's technically the Gemini house. Social. Some of you, this could have just been the friend or um, someone in your social network. But I feel like that's what's being impacted right now. And I feel total freedom with this. I feel total freedom with this, but Gemini's, I gotta be honest, this Knight of Pentacles, I feel like someone's coming in. Someone's coming in. Okay, Gemini's, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> because I have an energy that's leaving over here. There's definitely an energy leaving and there's a lot of anger, there's a lot of resentment. I can feel it. Someone feels like it was a bad karmic situation or a bad cycle. That was a mistake to mess with that person. Either way, someone left to release themselves and I, f I feel anger of I feel anger from both sides to be honest I feel anger from both sides and then we have a total opposite energy over here coming in after the event after the fact of total freedom total joy total confidence and then a knight of pentacles comes in almost like interrupting your your joy but in a good way like it's a it's a welcomed interruption is what I'll say it's a welcomed interruption is kind of how that feels but overall oh Gemini's five of wands <sighs> Leo energy fighting yeah, Gemini's, I feel really strong that like you were left really angry and resentful, full of resentful, uh, full of full of resentment towards someone who might have lied to you, someone who you felt abandoned you. But at the same time, it's like it kind of is a blessing because even if you feel like this person made a mistake leaving you or even if you left a situation because it was too intense for you, you have happiness like not too long after that. And there's a Knight of Pentacles here, like adding to it. I feel like they're not providing it. I feel like they're adding to it. They're adding to it. Yeah, they're adding to it. Oh, I like that. I like that, Gemini's. I like that. I gotta be honest, this, this yummy, confident, joyful energy, it feels a little far off. It does feel a little far off. I wouldn't be surprised if this isn't until October, to be honest with you. Um, there's just a lot of I just know there's a lot of tough energies until October and this feels really kind of far away. So just keep that in mind, Gemini's, that time isn't linear. This energy can happen at different times for, your, for whoever's resonating with this, but you will have this. You will have confidence, you will have happiness, you will have joy, and there's someone here who's going to be adding to it. Even if right now you feel like you're, you're <laughs> even if right now you feel like your twins are totally split and you're fighting within yourself, you're fighting this person who's dipping or this, or you're trying to leave someone who's fighting for you to stay, okay? All right, so let's look at the chariot in detail. I'm going to use Rider Wait for this one. It's okay to be the werewolf, Gemini. <laughs> Tell me about the chariot. Oh, if you're a Gemini Cancer Cuss, you probably will be quite the werewolf. 
<laughs> just saying, just saying, just saying, Cancers. I love you. I love you. Sorry about the chariot. Sorry about the chariot for Gemini. Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Sorry about the chariot for Gemini. Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Wow, that was very quick. Let's see what we got here. Oh, okay. Gemini, I like this energy. I like it. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Hermit in reverse, more Virgo energy. Five of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. Then we got a King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. This is someone who's taken the time to become enlightened and tried to figure out what's best in the situation. And Gemini's, I do feel like it's you. It doesn't have to be, can be vice versa, but Gemini's, I do feel like it's you here. I feel like you had that where, this is after the werewolf moment. Okay, thank you. This is after the werewolf moment. You've taken time to figure out why the person did what they did. And you realize you just don't want to have conflict. Like, I just need things to be a little easier. I just need things to be a little easier. I have a lot of love in my heart. And at the end of the day, I feel like this is you. Okay, like I said, after that werewolf energy, you're going to be able to align your twins a lot better because while you're a werewolf, you're going to be very split, okay? You're going to be very, very split between that King of Cups energy and that player, single, bachelor, bachelorette, no shade. We've all been there. We've all played that role at one point in time, okay? Kind of energy. And it's almost like you're choosing a twin after that werewolf moment and you're like, okay, I know what I want now. Oh, I know what I want now and I want love. I know what I want and it's love. You put a lot of time into getting enlightened here and you, and it's because you embraced your shadow side, okay? Again, a lot of you, this is energy that's way ahead, that's way ahead of you, all right? So just keep that in mind. Even if it's not resonating now, it might resonate in like a week or so. Okay. Tell me more about the chariot. Tell me more about the chariot. Tell me more about the chariot. So you, again, you, you're choosing love. You're choosing love. Some of you are choosing commitment, whether it's with that same person who lied to you and you're forgiving them, or you're just deciding, you know what? I want someone to love me as much as I want to love, and that's elsewhere, okay? So for some of you, it's choosing that same person back. Others, it's someone new. For a lot of you, I feel like it's a new person. I gotta be honest. For a lot of you, I feel like it's a new person. Tell me more about the chariot. Tell me more about the chariot. Oh, interesting. I just heard Virgo. Interesting, Gemini. Uh, full in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. And then we have the Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. It's funny, and I was getting that Three of Pentacles too during that pre-shuffle. Uh, this is you finding your balance, finding your ground, finding your stability, building yourself up, building things for yourself in your life, and wanting to and wanting to deal with someone too, wanting to build with someone because you're, you're, you're ready for that. You, you know what you want. You know what you want. And some of you might even have to play the field a little bit, even if you are a bit of a werewolf, to kind of feel like, do I want to date? Do I want to be in the dating scene? And then some of you are going to be like, oh, fuck, no, I don't want this. <laughs> oh, that's why I like relationships. Some of you might actually do that. Um, the full in reverse, though, tells me that there is a bit of hesitation, which is why I think some of you will take that time to be your werewolf self, to gain that enlightenment, to eat away at your wounds, and become realigned in your twin energy. And decide what you want, which is love. Which is love. Overall energy for the chariot, we have two of swords in reverse, moon and Libra energy. And underneath that, we've got the sun, Leo energy. Oh, I love this, guys. I love this. And then judgment, fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. And then the chariot, Cancerian energy. This is you choosing love and happiness, okay? Making a very clear-headed choice because you've taken the time to be the werewolf, to become aligned and decide what you want, eat away at the wounds you need to eat away at. And it's like, yeah, I want love. <laughs> I want love and happiness. I want love and happiness. Um, I am curious what you're releasing yourself from, but I don't want to go too deep into it because I'm really curious about this energy. Um, and we're at 24 minutes, damn it. Uh, it shamanized, you always make me talk so much. All right, we'll look at the Eight of Swords in reverse. We'll look at the Eight of Swords in reverse and then we'll go into that energy. Uh, no, I'm going to use the Kipper deck. Let's use Kipper. Good old Kipper. Ooh, or should I use Lenormand? Oh, they're telling me Lenormand. Okay. I am tired, guys, so just give me. I'm a little loopy when I'm tired. 
Let's look at Eight of Swords in Reverse. I'm gonna use Lenormand deck. Like I said, guys, I'm still studying this. It is a tough deck, but I, I just need to start trusting that I do know, know it enough. And if I have to pull from the book, I'll pull from the book. Tell me about Eight of Swords in Reverse. What are Gemini's releasing themselves from? Oh, so it's the dog with the 10 of uh, cups with an energy of 18, which is nine, it breaks down to a nine, so completions. This is a card about loyalty. It wanted to come up reverse and I, you're releasing yourself from this, right? From this karmic energy, this mistake energy. Um, for some, a person who just flat out lied to you and really, really hurt you. I feel like you're breaking away from like, what's, not just being loyal to this person, but like unrequited loyalty in that sense of I will be loyal to you, but God damn it, you can't be loyal to me in return. You know, it's that kind of energy that you're dealing with, Gemini, whether that's work or otherwise. I feel like it's love, though. I gotta be honest. It feels like it's love. Tell me about Eight of Swords in Reverse. Tell me about Eight of Swords in Reverse. What's Gemini releasing themselves from? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it in Reverse, actually. I, I really feel strongly it's just like loyalty that shouldn't have been given. Commitment that just was taken for granted. So I have Eight of Swords in Reverse. What's Gemini releasing themselves from? So I have a Ten of Swords in Reverse. What's Gemini releasing themselves from? Let's see what we have here. Oh, interesting. All right, so we have the Moon, 32 breaking down to a six. And then we have the Bridge, which is 36 breaking down to a nine. So we have a six and a nine, and then we have Eight of Cups with the six of wands this is moving on wow yeah moving on victoriously it was inevitable it was inevitable this wasn't an jesus this was an inevitable movement don't know why that was hard to say this was an inevitable movement here and with the moon the moon in the lenormand deck actually does not mean intuition or emotions it's actually more about career and money you might be realizing, real, again, Gemini, this could have just happened in the workplace, but for some of you, you're realizing that you, you really haven't grown as much as you could have because of this entrapping situation. And it's like, wow, it, it was inevitable for this to end or was it inevitable, inevitable for me to leave or it was inevitable to get this karmic here. You're, you're walking away with lessons learned, Gemini. Yeah, I really feel like most of you are leaving this person behind. So I'm over the Eight of Swords in Reverse and what Gemini's releasing themselves from. Got one other card out here. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. We got the Stork. 17, breaking down to an eight. Ah, with the Queen of Cups. And like I said, you're coming out as a King of Cups. I like this, Gemini, because the Stork is actually very fertile energy. And it's also about um, like changing perspectives, changing feelings. But this feels really positive. Oh, Gemini's inevitable work inevitable work shift inevitable work shift with someone who's a soulmate uh oh, gemini's and on the bottom we have coffin another eight with the nine of pentacles so being single and independent very very independent here underneath that though we've got the broom energy of 11 with the knight of wands okay knight of wands knight of pentacles gemini i gotta be honest i feel like Remember what I said? You're going into happiness, but someone's adding to it. With the man underneath, with the ace of cups. And a closing out cyclical energy. Gemini's, I gotta be honest with what I'm getting. I feel like some of you... <laughs> I feel like some of you are getting out of a situation that is karmic and not working out in your favor. You're choosing happiness because of some kind of inevitable... Um, growth and work that needs to happen or growth in your money situation or just personal growth within yourself but there's a soulmate attached to that energy of where you're going and i feel like it's this person who's adding to that for you and i gotta be honest with the ace of cups here and the queen of cups and the knight of wands kind of feels kind of feels like you you're already coming into a new boo okay i'm just just being honest here just being honest kind of feels like you're coming into a new boo all right um as a result of that interesting that's only really for a couple of you okay so let's go ahead and get into this energy the sun the strength and the knight of pentacles the strength card is all about confidence to me i feel like you're feeling so good about the decisions you've made leaving this karmic situation yeah i feel like you did the leaving gemini i feel like you're like this person lied to me i'm out this person lied to me i'm out keep in mind it can be vice versa 
but then you go into happiness and you're feeling so strong you're feeling so much more in your own energy after especially after being a werewolf for a good period of time and then someone comes in and joins you so let's look at this knight of pentacles uh i'm gonna use gilded tarot for this and i'll pull some advice tell me about the knight of pentacles Son of the Knight of Pentacles. Pe pentacles? Pentacles? What are Pentacles? Knight of Pentacles. Do I have the Knight of Pentacles? I'm sorry, they're drawing me back to this. We have an Eight of Cups with a Six of Wands and Queen of Cups. So imagine that. Eight of, Wands, Eight of Cups moving forward to the Ten of Cups, right? After leaving a disappointing Ten of Cups situation. Uh, victoriously doing that with the Six of Wands energy right into a Queen of Cups. Someone who's like just as ready for love as you are. Gemini, congratulations if that's you, because that's beautiful. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Y'all, yeah, all after you put something to an end with that coffin and you cleaned house with that broom and then you're walking away with the Ace of Cups in your mind. Yeah, Gemini's, I gotta be honest. I feel like this is you closing out a situation and once you close out this karma, deal with this karma, learn your lessons, be that werewolf, devour your wounds, get realigned and realize that, okay, I do want love. Love's gonna come in. Learn about Knight of Pentacles. God, you're taking me on a roller coaster, Gemini. Oh, interesting. Eight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy. Getting a, a major emotional attachment here. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. The Hanged Man Piscean energy. A lot of Pisces energy right here. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini. Ooh. King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. Oh, Gemini's. You're having to, you're needing to contemplate on this person. You're needing to contemplate on this person for sure. It's, it's, damn. It's like you, you went through such a roller coaster. You finally get into that really balanced. I'm ready for love. I'm happy. I'm confident. I'm strong. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And then someone steps in and you instantly are like, I don't know. <laughs> You're just like, oh shit. Oh shit. <coughs> God damn it. Hold on a second. Uh. Like, mm. oh shit. Love's knocking on my door. And I gotta be honest, Gemini, it almost seems like it sends you, like, I don't wanna say running away, but it kind of sends you into work mode, is what I'm getting, actually. It sends you, like, I gotta go focus on my pentacles. I can't do this. <laughs> it feels a little bit like that feels a little bit like that but they're moving in slow like they're not they're not putting pressure on you but you're 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 kind of running gemini i gotta be honest tell me about knight of pentacles tell me about knight of pentacles oh yeah they're oh wow tell me about knight of pentacles for gemini tell me about knight of pentacles for gemini all right so interesting cards here now we have Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, which is Virgo energy, could also be Earth or Fire. It's that same person who's coming in here with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, uh, Taurian energy, and Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. For some of you, it's a trigger. Damn it. Geminis, for some of you, this is a trigger. They're coming in to make an offer to you. They're definitely coming in to offer stability. It could even be something tangible. It could even be just a, a straight-up business offer. And it's almost like you have a PTSD moment with this. Betrayal. Unrequited, unrequited loyalty. Uh, <laughs> like, that's kind of that's kind of the mode you go into, Gemini, which only tells me that you probably have a little more healing to do. Okay, um, for some of you, this could be that same person who lied to you, and that's why you're also like, I don't know, no, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> yeah. For those where it's that person from the past, I really feel a hard no with this. But for those where this is kind of a newer person, like you're, if I can hold this up like your queen of cups here it, it's just causing like a ptsd moment you're just you're a little triggered you're, you're kind of like fuck i gotta go work <laughs> i gotta go work i can't focus on this but like i said that's just an indication that you need a little bit more healing or that this connection is just really intense because i feel like instant emotional attachment with this person coming in as they approach you which tells me that you guys are definitely soulmates i mean king and queen of cups i mean that's like you both are ready for love and want to give and receive the same amount of love 
pretty equal here. Pretty equal, but you're afraid that it's it's very much unrequited, okay? Overall energy, the wheel of fortune. Jupiter energy. Yeah, the wheel's turning forward, Gemini. Don't be scared. <laughs> don't be scared of this person, especially if they're new. Like, if they're a new person, do not be scared of them. If they're the same person, I totally understand this feeling of like, uh, you betrayed me. This was unrequited. You lied to me. No. <laughs> no. I feel it. I get it. Totally understand, Geminis. Um, and it's kind of that classic case if this is that same person where it's like they lied to you you're like no I'm done I'm over this I'm over you you go off and be happy and single and then all of a sudden boom they're back and it's like what the hell I just got happy again I just got happy again <laughs> after being a werewolf <laughs> and having to devour some parts of myself um, and but for like I said but for those of you where this is kind of a newer person and again I'm feeling like inevitable work scenario because the moon in the Norman deck is about money and or work uh the bridge is inevitable it's also about literally bonds right connections between you and someone else um the stork like i said is a very fertile energy and it is about changing perspectives and i feel like you've had to have a change of perspective on the situation you were in to get out of that situation but i feel like it's your your head you're clearly heading straight into a queen of cups with the eight of wands and eight of, sorry, not eight of wands i keep saying eight of wands with the eight of cups right leaving shit behind to move forward to your 10 six of wands doing it victoriously feeling like you're getting a lot of attention but then straight boom into a queen of cups okay so just keep that in mind so let's get some advice here gemini oh man gemini's yeah this feels like a roller coaster this feels like a roller coaster Any advice for my Geminis? Yeah, it's funny. It's like the second this person comes in, you're like, uh, I'm gonna go work. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to work. <laughs> I even feel like some of you, like if they call or text you, you're like, I need to go work on something. <laughs> some of you are doing that. It's very interesting, Geminis. I think that also just says how much you really care about this person because Geminis usually play it cool, calm, and collected. You're not doing that with this person. Any advice for Geminis? Any advice for my Geminis? Oh, come on, come on. Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Let's see here. Wow, Geminis, be fearless and bold with the Badger spirit, energy of force, stability, foundations, flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. 26, breaking down to an eight. Success and prosperity and a doubling rate at this with, from the four to the eight. Geminis, don't be afraid of this. If this is a, I'm telling you, if this is a new person, there's nothing to be afraid of. If this is an old person, I totally understand. If this is a person who lied to you, I totally get it. So decide what's best for you in that scenario. But they're saying to be fearless about this whole situation. Be fearless about this person who's trying to add to your happiness here. Because I do feel like they're trying to add to it and also add to your abundance, okay? Very much so trying to add to your abundance. Flamingo Spirit is about being in that transition from point A to point B in who you are or what you're working on. And Gemini's, like I said, you're starting out as a werewolf. Okay, starting out as a werewolf, having to embrace your shadow side, having to embrace that part of you, having to devour wounds and karma and close out certain cycles so you can realign your twins to make this decision to leave a person who's lied. To, I feel strongly that someone straight up lied to you and just really hurt you. Um, and once you become aligned, deciding what it is you really want, which is love, and you go off on your merry way and then boom, here comes this old person trying to get back in, which again, if you're not about that, I get it. But for a lot of you, this is a newer person. A newer meaning like, if you haven't met them yet, I'm sorry, if you've already met them, can't speak today. If you've already met them, it's probably been months. It's like, I doubt you've known them for years. Um, it's okay to be in transition, but it's, it's better to not be afraid of where you're going from where you've been this person is your point b for those where there's a new person this is your point b and the person who lied to you is your point a you're in charge of transition don't be afraid to finish it okay don't be afraid to finish it let's see what else we have here any other advice for my gemini's any other advice for my gemini's regarding this spread Ooh. ah one of my favorite cards any other advice for my gemini's regarding this spread oh 
Gemini's. I freaking love it. Koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. 35, breaking down to an eight. More success energy, more prosperity and abundance and a hell of a lot of stability. This is my blueprint card in this deck. Gemini's, what's happening right now, for those who are resonating with this, it's happening for a reason. It was supposed to happen this way. You were supposed to deal with these people, these energies in this way. And it's okay. You don't have to be afraid. It was supposed to happen. It was fate because you quite literally signed up for it, okay? <laughs> you quite literally designed it that way before you got here. Overall energy, we have horse spirit. Freedom is yours with the energy of 33. Oh my God, look what's underneath. Sandpiper spirit, be playful. Gemini's, that playful Gemini and energy. 51 breaking down to a six. 33 is a master number. We don't break those down, but if we were to, it would be a six and a six here. A lot of synchronistic numbers with the double eights, the double sixes. Uh, guys, this is like Gemini. It's time to have fun. It's time to have fun. It's time to be playful. You don't have to feel restricted in relationships, especially if this is someone new who, um, you know, again, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. It's like those are two people who want to give and receive love equally. Um, you can have a lot of fun with this person, Gemini. So just know that. And when you have a healthy, balanced relationship, an interdependent relationship, it is something that's free because I'm talk, I, I guess I feel I need to be on a little bit of a soapbox today. Um, Gemini's, that is what love really is. Love is not attachment. It's not trying to force someone to be a certain way. Love is allowing someone to be who they are. Okay, and that's exactly what it is. It's allowing someone to be who they are, allowing a connection to be what it is. And if it resonates with you, you stick with it. If it doesn't resonate with you, you don't stick with it. That's why long lasting loving relationships are so rare because people don't understand that and people are not comfortable with that because they don't have enough self-love within themselves to allow someone else to be as free within a relationship that makes sense gemini's you have a shot at a very fun free yummy <laughs> connection that you quite literally signed up for okay and i really feel like this for those pertaining to a newer person i feel like if you're getting confronted by this old person Gemini's, I, I really feel strongly it's just to get closure if you need it. I really feel strongly about that because with this Six of Pentacles in reverse and Ten of Swords in reverse, for those where it's that same person who lied to you with the Wheel of Fortune, get your closure. Get your closure if you need it, but this is what you can have with this newer person. And on the bottom of that, look, Rabbit Spirit, now is a lucky time. 49, breaking down to what? A four. Stability. We have two eights, two eights, two fours, and two sixes. Hmm. I like it. I really, really like it. But rabbit spirit's about f fertility. I'm feeling a lot of empress energy with this as well. One of you can be empress status. Hold on. Clyde. Hey. Clyde. Oh, he's acting out. Sorry, guys. Anyway, very fertile, very yummy energy. But do keep in mind, though, guys, if you are dealing with an empress, especially this rabbit spirit, pregnancy can be very likely. So just be careful of that. Anyway, Gemini's, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was kind of a fun read. I was a little worried in the beginning, but I like how this is ending up. It's beautiful. Congratulations to whoever this is for. For those who are coming into someone who wants to give and receive love in a healthy way, in the way that you want and expect very inter interdependently. Okay. All right, guys, I will see you later. Don't forget to check out Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I hope you guys have a great night. I'll see you guys later tonight, okay? Namaste.